Hello, my name is Eddie Naveau and I am a solution architect at SAP. My job is to help our partners and customers with development and integration with respect to integration with SAP Business One. Today, I want to talk to you about SAP Business One integration for SAP NetWeaver, or B1ISN, and how it can add tremendous value to your business if you have integration needs. B1ISN allows for the ability to seamlessly integrate SAP Business One with SAP Business Suite. The example is where there may be one or more instances of SAP Business One as subsidiaries or branches that integrate with a central headquarters using SAP Business Suite. The slide shows manual integration of disparate systems, which as noted can be very costly to develop, implement, and keep under maintenance, as well as requiring IT to have a deep understanding of all systems requiring integration to the headquarters as mentioned earlier. This slide also shows how using B1ISN Seamless integration of multiple subsidiaries using SAP Business One can easily be implemented using the B1ISN's out-of-the-box scenarios, which enable rapid setup of the subsidiaries as well as ongoing master and transactional data integration. IT has less demand on its time to understand the underlying technical nature of the integrated system and allows them to focus more on what business processes the company wishes to implement between the subsidiaries and the headquarters which is enabled by the flexibility of B1ISN's technology, which allows for easy customization and extendability of existing content or the creation of new content. This exists because of the lightweight architecture B1ISN is built on and requires a very minimal skill set by IT, a skill set that uses XML and XSLT, which are industry standards and which also reduce the maintenance time between systems. B1ISN also can be used to integrate systems that are non-SAP systems into the ecosystem by allowing for the use of web services as just one small example of the integration capabilities offered. What you can see on this slide are the out-of-the-box business scenarios that are available with B1ISN. These scenarios allow for the initial setup and ongoing synchronization of master data an SAP Business Suite, such as customers and items, with one or more instances of SAP Business One. Also provided are transactional business scenarios, such as sales from local stock and sales from central stock, as well as the ability to have management reporting, which are consolidated reports from the SAP Business One subsidiaries, allowing headquarters easy analysis and decision-making capabilities because information such as sales information, trends, etc is readily available by using SAP Business Warehouse in integration with B1ISN. Some of the capabilities of B1ISN are the elimination of multiple application interfaces needing to be developed by IT that are specific to a single application or system. The pre-configured content contains all of the underlying technology and how to connect systems together at the communication level as well as all data transformation enrichment, and so on. IT also has the ability to extend the existing business scenarios or create new business scenarios using B1ISN tools and step-by-step -step guides provided as part of B1ISN. Just a few of the many benefits of B1ISN are improved operational activity and productivity because there is not a duplication of efforts or rekeying of data, which thereby increases data accuracy between systems enhanced organizational control because the SAP Business Suite as the headquarters is the master data of change and changes between headquarters and subsidiaries are immediately available allowing for a complete 360 degree view of the ecosystem by management and users. A total low, lower cost of ownership by using an affordable user-friendly solution with a low cost of integration and support. An increase in profitability by optimizing sales, marketing, and service functions throughout the ecosystem, and ease of the burden on IT for support as there is a single point of contact for all application and integration issues. Now that we have looked at the capabilities and benefits of B1ISN, let me show you an actual demo of B1ISN showing integration between SAP Business Suite and SAP Business One. show you a short demo of the integration between SAP Business One 8.8 and SAP Business Suite using SAP Business One integration for SAP NetWeaver 
or B1I SN88. The scenario that I want to show you briefly is called sales from local stock and it's part of the out-of-the-box intercompany transaction processing. In this example, the subsidiary or branch is using SAP Business One. It sells its own stock that it has in its item master. However, when it runs out of an item or stock, it puts in a purchase order to order or replenish that stock from the SAP Business Suite or the headquarters system. To show you, I'm going to go in and enter a purchase order in the SAP Business 188 system. And I'm going to enter that purchase order to my vendor, which is my headquarters. I'll pick my headquarters, tap to my fields. Note for later that this purchase order is 91. And I'll pick an item I'm ordering from my headquarters, which is this one. And I'll put in a quantity of five. And now my purchase order is ready to be added, just like a business one purchase order. Now behind the scenes, Part of this, as part of the business scenario, what's happening is that B1ISN88 is picking this up, taking the purchase order, converting it to the business suite system as a sales order, and then creating a confirmation back to this purchase order that a sales order has been created and what that number is. If I open up B1ISN88, and specifically the message log, and I'm going to click Display Refresh, You can see two things. You can see that I have a purchase order from the subsidiary that was generated, specifically purchase order number 91, being sent to my headquarters system or my business suite system as an order for this particular customer, which is the business one subsidiary, for the purchase order 91. Now you can also see that there's a transaction that is in processing at the moment. This is a confirmation or the confirmation being sent back now that the sales order has been automatically generated back from the business suite system to business one, which you can see is an order. That order specifically is 165. That information is being sent back and updated on the original purchase order as a reference field. And I'll click display refresh again to make sure that the message was successful. And it was. You can see here that I have order 165. Let's look at the business suite system quickly and we'll look at order 165. You note on the order that this is the customer that it was entered for, which in this case is my subsidiary or branch using business one. You can see the reference of it that it's purchase order 91 from the business one system for this item and for a quantity of five. If we look back at SAP business one, and we go to that last purchase order, which was 91. What we can see is the original purchase order as entered and posted. But we can also see that the vendor reference number was updated with the sales order number of 165 to make for easy reference. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of the integration that is enabled between SAP Business One and SAP Business Suite using B1 ASN. SAP understands that the process of integrating disparate systems can be a daunting and costly task for an organization trying to get a handle on its systems and enterprise data. SAP estimates that 30% of IT dollars are spent integrating software in an organization. This manual integration can lead to long implementation times as well as time spent on stabilization which can result in a very high total cost of ownership. Not to mention that the integration of these disparate systems requires a deep technical knowledge of all the systems involved and can have a very high maintenance cost due to the lack of flexibility of these systems to work together.